Sup guys, Jay here. And I'm recording this video because, you know what? It's my duty to. So, earlier today, I had a little bit of an experience where I'm listening to a professor and I'm standing in line, right? A gentleman gets in front of me. And right away, that bothered me. So I tell him, you know what? Hey, you just got in front of me. It gives me this look like, I mean, if you don't get away from me, like he just gives me this ugly, nasty look of disgust. And my mind immediately goes to why? And you know what? I just leave it alone. Because that's when you realize when you got somebody who doesn't like you, and you really want to just say the most utmost, just angriest things to them when they just make you mad. It's not worth it. It's not worth the confrontation. It's not worth the energy, the strength, the time, or the stress to focus on people who do not like you. Heck, this goes for somebody who doesn't understand you. If somebody doesn't understand you and they just don't understand you, they just don't understand. If people gossip about you, they're going to gossip. Like, just let them talk about what they want to talk about. You have people out there who love you, who care for you, who know who you are, who, who love you for who you are. Why waste your time on people who don't care about you? Does that make sense? No. I look back to all the times where someone said something mean, like, you're retarded. You, you, why are you doing this? You talk like a white guy. I don't care. Man, I'm still here, am I? Yes. So... It's just, why focus on that stuff? Like, why focus on the past stuff where people have done something and hurt, to hurt you, done something to aggravate you, done something that just makes you so mad, you want to throw that first punch. But I'm going to tell you, when you throw that first punch, you're going to show a side that nobody wants to see. You're going to do something that you probably are going to regret. Take a deep breath. Relax. You'll get through this. We'll all get through this. I know it's going to be hard, but look, in life, you're going to encounter those who just don't like you for whatever. You can be the kindest person in the world. You can be the friendliest man or woman, and those people won't care. I want to tell you, you're going to look back from now, and you're not even going to remember that person's name. I'll look back at some of those folks who did wrong to me, and I'm like, who was that person? Like, what? they do that like like not even in a hateful sense but i'm like you know what that was stupid and it was because it was just a time like i don't even remember those people's name and i still don't care that happened because it's in the past the best thing to do about a past experience where someone didn't like you and even if it stresses you out now, if it really gets to you and it makes you breathe heavy, it makes you sad, it makes you cry, it makes you depressed, let it go. Let go of that weight that won't let you live. Forget and forgive those people, my friends, my children, whoever is watching this. Let go of that weight that won't let you live. There's a quote that I remember today that I wanted to share with you. You got to let go of that stuff from the past because it doesn't matter anymore. What matters right now is who you choose to be. Don't focus on who you were. Focus on who you are right now. I want you to do that for me. I want you to really take a look in the mirror and focus on who you are right now. I want you to just take a deep breath. Think about all that past stuff, all those past experiences, all those times somebody did you wrong and throw all that away. I want you to throw it away right now and repeat to yourself, you can't change nothing that happened in the past. What happened in the past does not matter. We can't change it. What we control now is who we choose to be and how we do it. That is all we can focus on. Somebody don't like you, it's best to ignore them. If it's somebody trying to ruin your day, it is best to just not care. Why, why would let one thing ruin your day? They didn't like Jesus. And what did he do? He died for them anyway. Because he was just a selfless man and a great person.
You got friends who love you. I, I talked to somebody I, I, I knew today, a friend of mine, about the situation. And he said, that guy's just being a jerk. Look at the people who are around you right now. We care for you. We always got your back. And you know what? That meant a lot to me. It really did. Because I got friends who care about me, uh, friends who believe in me, a family who cares about me, all that stuff. You got friends who care about you, who love you and respect you for who you are and what you do for them. You are always there. Never forget that. I never want you to forget that ever. Y'all got me preaching. <laughs> but I'm serious. I want you to just take two steps forward, not one step back into that abyss we call a past, into that darkness that light was just the weight that would not let you go. You let it go. You let it go. Don't let it control you. Don't let it stress you out anymore. If you always get to that point, remember what I said. If you always get to that point, remember to take a deep breath. Remember that those people can no longer affect you if you just don't give them any attention. And you know what? Those people probably don't got no friends anyway. They probably just jealous of what you got right now in front of you. They probably jealous of who you are. You smile. The folks talk about me. They gossip about me. I don't care anymore because I got folks who care. And I'm thankful to have them. I'm blessed to have them. You should be too. Because you're one of them. Now, I could have sat here, gave sorry speech or something that's written down, but there's no paper here. There is no paper here. Somebody in the world probably doesn't care enough about you to say all this to you, but I do. Because you're all my best friends, family even. And I care enough to give you this message, to motivate you, to get you on that path, let go of those people. Look at the people in front of you, the people who love you, the people who care for you. They're always going to be there. We're always going to be there. I'm all, and I'm always going to be there. I love y'all. Have a good night. Peace.